Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and in today's episode, I want to talk about investing in the infrastructure around cryptocurrency, the infrastructure that already exists. Uh, And partly, Binance is a good example of that, where it's absolutely flown up the ranking of cryptocurrencies by market cap. And the partly the reason for that is, is because it already provides an infrastructure for cryptocurrency. Uh, it's gone up quite a lot. So I want to also bring to attention another cryptocurrency. It's called SafePal. And in actual fact, Binance has invested within SafePal. So I'm going to talk a bit more detail as to why that's a good investment. But just before I start, I just want to bring your attention to the market cap. So the market cap at the moment is 1.57 trillion. And that's a very large increase from where it was just a few months ago. If we have a look at, for example, in October, it was just over $300 billion. And now it's gone up by 5x. So that's a very big increase in the space of around about four months. So I also want to bring your attention to what happened at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018. Now, that's not to say that history will repeat itself, but it's for you to be cautious of the fact that when it has gone up this quickly, as they say, a parabolic increase, then there is a lot more of a chance that it could fall. And if it does fall, it could fall by a considerable amount as people get scared that they're going to start losing value in the coins that they hold. So something to bear in mind uh, before we do move on. So just be cautious. And and I made uh, a mistake of when it was kind of going up uh, a great deal to to start putting even more money in. So I'm just afraid that a lot of people will start investing as it keeps on going higher and higher and put more and more in. I think it's always good to look for opportunities and understand the movements in the markets as well. I guess if you are doing it for shorter terms, yes, people can put a considerable amount in, but always be aware that when you are investing, either you're looking at a very, very long term. So if you do have a much longer outlook, maybe the next seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 years, then obviously this is a, even even now is a good investment period of time. But if you're looking at a shorter term, just bear in mind that a downturn can happen at any point. But let's go back to to Binance. So as we can see in Binance, it went, when it did go up in value and then it fell, it went from around about, let's say, around about the 20 mark down to 10, just under 10. So it lost about half of its value when the market was crashing in 2018. And the reason why that didn't lose as much as some other projects, for example, Ether went from Ethereum went down for, uh, from the highs of around about fifteen hundred to just over three hundred. So to to lose around about eighty percent of its value while being the second coin is, is a considerable amount, and a lot of coins lost a lot more. But Binance was offering something that already exists. Now other projects are great. Uh, Cardano was right up there. Polkadot, in which they are providing something, creating something that's going to really change what the future is is going to bring. Smart contracts, interoperability. There are many other projects as well. However, Binance is providing something right now that people are using, they're utilizing, they're getting benefit from it. Uh, Binance as as an organization as well is is being able to provide that infrastructure so people can buy, sell, transfer their cryptocurrency. So as we saw, it kept on going up in value as it's gained a lot of users and more people are using it frequently as well. And as I mentioned, it's gone up a great deal here. So that's put a very high valuation on it at the moment. So that's why I want to bring your attention to SafePal. Now, SafePal, as you can see, it, it was only released no more than about 10 days ago onto the exchanges, and it did increase a great deal. And it's kind of bounced around for, for a few days. But I think if you're looking for a slightly longer term play, then SafePal is a great investment. As we can see here, the, the market cap is uh, at, at 333 million. One thing to bear in mind is the actual supply of the coin. So this is the full, fully diluted. So which that means is that they haven't put a great deal 
of their coins out in the market. And something to always bear in mind if you're not aware of it. That means that if they do, say, Pal, do release more coins, it does dilute what you're holding, bringing down the value of it. Many of the coins, as we'll probably see with, with Binance, they've got a 91% circulating supply. So 91 of the max supply is already out there. Whereas with uh, SafePal, 22. So that's something just to bear in mind. But let me talk a bit more about the actual project in itself. So here's your see SafePal. And what are they actually doing? What are they providing? You'll see that they actually have devices to protect your money. But I just want to bring you down to the app as well. As they said here, they, they store, buy, manage, swap, trade. You can, you can do all of these things through their app which is something that they're already providing. So people can use it right now. It's providing the infrastructure to be able to do these things for their customers. As well as that, they have these devices. So what do these devices actually do? Oh, let's just get rid of that. It's allowing you the, the, this added security to your cryptocurrency that you hold. So as you can see from, from the pictures here, it's, it's, it's like it generates a number, you put it in, and you're able to, to be able to access your money. But when it's held, it's it's held safer. And, and this is very interesting, the first hardware wallet invested by Binance. And as I mentioned before, I think this is something which is exciting. And Binance to be involved in something like SafePal, it's, it's, it's such a big exchange. It's the biggest at the moment. And it's, it's doing some great things. And for it to work with SafePal as well, I think is an amazing thing. And you can you can go through the website and you can learn more about it. I just want to bring it to your attention and tell you why I think it's a it's a good investment and also just let you know why I think it's always good to invest in plays that are around the infrastructure as well. I think some people overlook that and obviously they're looking at the big exciting coins out there at the moment. Like I mentioned, the um the the the, the polka dots the the cardanos the chain links as well where where these companies are doing great things and that's not to mention many many others as well but to to bring to your attention coins like binance that are moving up that are working within the infrastructure right now and as well as that you have safe power now safe power is relatively new as you saw from the chart earlier on binance when it was new you know, it was it was still building up and once it's gained momentum and once it's grown, it's really made a difference. So something for you to consider and preferably do your own research as well to, to get better informed in what you're actually investing in. I think it's always good to do that. Um, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. It's only a click of a button. I do bring out many more of these videos. I try to keep a quite a wide range of what I do bring to you. It's my views and news, but then also draw upon my experience of in investing, in trading, in spotting new uh, projects like this as well. And, and generally what I think would potentially happen, like keeping you uh, just engaged in what's going on with the market cap value. Now, just to kind of end that on the same sort of point, there can be anything that can create a downturn in the market. It's very hard to know when it will happen why it will happen, for how long it will happen, how much it will turn down before going back up. But I think just having that in the back of your mind and, and also being in tune with what's happening and not taking any unreasonable risks, I think you'll be in, in a good situation. Uh, like I mentioned, there's a lot of people who are going all in now. I, I think that's, uh, that's probably the wrong time to, to be doing that, unless it's money you don't need and you're putting it in a very, very long-term investment. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you all take that consideration on board. If you've enjoyed this video, do give me a like. Thumbs ups are always great and appreciated. Any comments, please do ask. If there's any particular types of videos you'd like me to do, please do ask as well. This is Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and I'll see you in the next one.